Uh, my question relates to a comment you made some years ago about Warren Buffett. I think you said that he uh, has become a significantly better investor since he turned 65, which I found a remarkable comment. I was wondering if you could share information about that that, that maybe we haven't heard before. Well, if you're in a game and you're passionate about learning more all the time and getting better and honing your old skills a little more, et cetera, et cetera, uh, of course you do better over time. And, and some people are better at that than others. And it's amazing what Warren has done. We never, Berkshire would be a very modest company now if Warren never learned anything. He never would have given anything back. I mean, any territory he took was gonna, he was gonna keep, he was gonna hold it. But, but what really happened was we, we went out into the new fields like buying whole businesses and, and, and we bought into things like Iskar that Warren never would have bought when he was young. Ben Graham would never have bought Iskar. We paid it, you know, five times book or something for Iskar. And it wasn't in the Graham play. And Warren, who learned under Graham, just, he learned better over time. And, and I've learned better. We, have, we, the nice thing about the game we're in is that you can keep learning. And we're still doing it. Imagine, we're in the press this well, at CNBC. Uh, for all of a sudden, very much, airline stocks, what have we said about the airline business? We thought it was a joke, it was such a terrible business. And now if you put all those stocks together, we own <laughs> one minor airline. <laughs> we did the same thing on railroads, you know, we said the railroads are no damn good, you know, too many of them, truck competition. And we were right, it was a terrible business for about 80 years. But finally they got out of four big railroads and it was a better business. And something similar is happening in the airline business. On the other hand, this very morning, I sat down in my library with my daughter-in-law, and she took a round-trip ticket to Europe, including taxes. It was like four or five hundred dollars. And I, we're buying into the airline business. <laughs> <laughs> now it may work out to be a good idea for the same reason that our railroad business turned out to be a good idea. But there's some chance that it might not. In the old days, I frequently talk to Warren about the old days, and for years and years and years, what we did was shoot fish in a barrel. But it was so easy that we didn't re want to shoot at the fish while they were moving. So we waited until they slowed down and then we, we shot at them with a shotgun. <laughs> and, and it was just that easy. And it's gotten harder and harder and harder. And now we get little edges when, before we had total senses. And it isn't any less interesting. And we do not make the same returns we made when we could run around and pick this low-hanging fruit over uh, uh, off trees that offered a lot of it. So now we go into things. We bought the Exxon position. You know why Warren bought Exxon? as a cash substitute. And he would never have done that in the old days. We had a lot of cash and we thought Exxon was better than cash over the short term. That's a different kind of thinking from the way Warren came up. He's changed. And, and I think he's changed when he buys airlines and he's, he's changed when he buys Apple. <laughs> think of the hooting we've done over the years about high tech. We just don't understand it. It's not it's like a kind of competency. The worst business in the world is airlines. And what do we appear in the press with? <laughs> Apple and a bunch of airlines. <laughs> I don't think we've got, we've gone crazy. I think the answer is we're adapting reasonably to a business that's gotten them very much more difficult. And I don't think we have a cinch in either of those positions, I think we have the odds a little bit in our favor. And if that's the best advantage we can get, we'll just have to live on the advantage we can get. I used to say you have to marry the best person that will have you. And I 
said, I'm afraid that's a rule of life and you, you have to get by in life with the best advantage you can get. And things have gotten so difficult in the investment world that, that we have to be satisfied with the type of advantage that we, we didn't used to get. On the other hand, the thing that caused it to be so difficult was we got so enormously rich. And that's not a bad trade-off. 